I never went back to school. I um, was home educated right through, and um, we, uh, we, I know my parents considered um, changing curriculums or doing something that would give me a, a recognised qualification, but um, we decided against that. My parents didn't feel that's what God wanted, um, and that He had another plan, and so we continued with um, Konos and um, I continued using that curriculum um, right through till the end of my schooling years as such and it has been a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed, I enjoyed learning what I did learn. I loved the sciences and maths, it was my favourite. <laughs> and um, yeah, I can definitely see it's helped me. I used um, Oikos up until the end of my young adult years um, at home and um, there was a stage when I started thinking about applying for varsity um, you know everyone was saying no you're not gonna get in you should have done Cambridge don't you think you should do a year of Cambridge or something to get in and um, we actually decided against that and we went ahead and applied I applied at Stellenbosch University for occupational therapy it was the only thing I applied for, it was the only thing I wanted to do or felt like I should do. It's the only university I applied at. And um, we spoke to the head of department and she said she's really sorry but she actually can't help us because we don't have anything that she can work with because I had no um, certificate or anything that was recognised by the university. And um, that, that was, it was quite a challenge in a way because you feel like, well, what can we do? And so we did, we continued to pray and we, we um, put together a portfolio and um, we sent that portfolio in and um, then we felt, I think it was a few months, yeah, it was a few months before the end of the year, I started studying for the SATs and, and I did actually write the SATs and, um, and we handed those marks in. But this whole application process, it, it had already been put through my my name was on the waiting list which was an absolute miracle no one knew how it got there um, in fact last year I'm still uh, an error because I don't have a matric certificate so last year at the end of first year I was actually also told I'm um, sorry you're not gonna be able to register next year because you don't have any certification why are you here <laughs> but I am still here and I was able to register this year so like God has really opened doors where there haven't been any doors. It's made holes in walls. <laughs> and are you are you glad that it went the way it's gone? Uh, you know, or would have you as a student would have you preferred it if you could have just had your matric certificate and just walked in the door with your matric certificate? Or, or is that reality? Do people who got matric certificate certificates are they able just to walk and you know get registered at Stellenbosch? Okay. What, what is the reality of all of this? I think sometimes if you have a matric certificate you think oh everything's going to be easy so sometimes I think I did I, I did feel oh it would have been nice just to have a matric certificate and I would just get in but it was very fleeting because it's very much the easy way out and actually I'm, I'm very 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 happy that I was home educated and I think that there's a great richness that comes from that and I wouldn't want to give that up for anything um, and actually, even if you have a matric, it's not a guarantee of getting into varsity. There are a lot of factors. It's actually, it's, it's a step-by-step -step process for anyone who has to apply. There's no guarantee to get in. I think no matter, even if you have your matric, you still got to have, you still got to put in a lot of effort. And I don't know, God can walk you through that as well.